Hey guys, Nabil here. SNK has successfully resurrected the Samurai Shodan franchise with the reboot that was released about a couple months ago. The game has been loved by everybody, professional players, gamers, and publications. Now, as you know, the game brought back many of the fan favorites, but also introduced three characters in the form of Yashamaru, Dolly Dagger, and Wu Reisha. Now, before SNK decided on these characters, they had many other options, they had many other designs that they were thinking of including as characters for the game. Now, we don't know all the these uh, rejected characters, however, thanks to the awesome art of Samurai Showdown from Pix and Love, we know some of these rejected designs that ultimately were not picked. So in this video, we're gonna go through all these cancelled characters. Now, the first time one is very intriguing, and I'm not sure how to interpret it. They had a picture of Kagaribi. Kagaribi is Basara's dead wife. She's a specter that appears uh, behind him and whenever he wins or she's always present by his side. And it seems that they considered to have Kagaribi as a playable character. As you can see, they had a design for her. Now, I'm not sure. It does not explain if, this, if she was the uh, character or if the or if they intended to have Basara as a playable character from the get-go. Now, as you know, Basara is going to be a, a playable character. He's part of the first season of the Samurai Showdown DLC. Now, the other second character is very interesting. And they even went as to create almost uh, a story for him. So, this man who um, remains uh, unnamed is a former Buddhist monk. And he's apparently a reclusive man who uses a bench as a weapon. His fighting style, he uses his bench in a style that is unique to him. And he is rather nonchalant. He spends his time dreaming while sitting on his bench. He wishes to be able to lead a hermit's life one day. He hates fighting but always ends up getting involved in fights without really knowing why. He just wants to be left alone. Um, he always gets arrested for not paying after eating out. Uh, he has an incredible knowledge of wild herbs. He does not approve of attachment to object, but refuses to be separated from the gem fragments he found in the mountains. This is all he has with his bench. So he basically has his bench and some, some gems that he goes around and finds with that bench. Very interesting ca looking character, to be honest. And so SNK decided to not go with this one. The second one is... Um, this monk looking character who uses chopsticks. Um, no other details were revealed besides his design as you can see here. And the other one is a nun character. So uh, it's a nun with camouflaged weapons as you can see. So she has this hood and it's full of weapons. And I think some it was you know a bit of the idea of this character went into Dali Dagger who has multiple weapons. Um, so weapons are camouflaged all along the body and she also uh, uses uh, a biwa which is you know this uh, uh, Japanese uh, guitar like instrument and she uses it as a shield and also has a hidden sword in it. Quite interesting and this character so I'm not sure if we will end up seeing any of these characters here in DLC or future games uh, the other one is uh, called the young female smoker uh, so yeah this uh, lady here as you can see and not not there's some information here saying saying that um, she has a large breast and sensual mouth Okay, so that's not much to go with. Um, she's she's uh, she has a uh, this you know dragon shaped pipe that she used, and she gets stronger and stronger as she smokes. So think of uh, Chin uh, from from the King of Fighters. However, instead of drinking, she actually smokes her pipe. Um, if she smokes too much, she starts coughing and gets considerably uh, weaker. Uh, quite an interesting 
concept, you know, so if she smokes a lot, you know, she gets weaker, if she smokes just enough, she gets stronger. Maybe not the right message you want to send <laughs> to some fans, but uh, yeah, so that's that's one of the uh, cancelled uh, characters. Uh, another one here is this lady who I believe turned up to be Dudley Dagger in the end, so this it's an energetic and muscular fighter using this armor and using this double sword that, that uh, basically becomes a boomerang and then she can throw it as a boomerang. A quite an interesting character, quite an interesting um, look, but she really reminds me of Dolly Dagger, I don't know about you guys. Uh, another character here is a samurai, and that's what it says, he's just a samurai, and you know, funny funny thing is Samurai Showdown does not have any samurai character. All the characters in Samurai Showdown are not samurai, so this would have been the first samurai character in Samurai Showdown. And he looks he looks good. Um, so I'm really sad this guy did not make it. He would have looked awesome with the current um, graphical engine. Uh, but yeah, samurai armor, sam samurai sword uh, looks really good. Um, and then the last one here is this monk-looking uh, character, uh, and but he's not a monk. He's actually a firefighter or a fireman, a hikeshi. Um, and as you can see, he looks really cool. He has a tattoo similar to a uh, drawing, uh, and then he actually is a fireman, an older firefighter who fights with a modified uh, matoi. A matoi is an object used by firemen during the Edo period to warn people of a fire. So it's like a bell kind of thing. Now these are the characters that did not make the cut that we now know about thanks to Pix and Love Amazing The Art of Samurai Showdown art book. Now speaking of things that did not make the cut, two stages were revealed in this book that were planned for the game but unfortunately did not make it. One was supposed to be a dolly dagger stage, which is similar to what we've seen in her ending. So it's a beach side showing some ships being built as you can see and I bet this would have looked amazing. Now I'm not sure why I did not make the cut, I probably has to do with time constraint. Uh, so hopefully they could add this one as a DLC. Uh, the other one is one that was supposed to be for earthquake and as you can see it's some sort of um, ruined house full of treasures and, and supposedly it would have been in the US. Now as you can see not every character has a stage and as you can see they plan to have that but they did not again unfortunately did not make the cut. Now funny thing here if you look hard enough you can see that some of one of his treasure is the mask of world heroes Mudman which is quite interesting i'm not sure what to make of that knowing that these two franchises are not in the same universe even though it's an you know it's a game that was on neo geo and the easy way to to actually figure that out is that both games have a hanzo hattori who's completely different from each other um but yeah it's a pretty cool easter egg now unfortunately the, the, they did not make the cut uh, we know that more stages coming out with the with the season one DLC, so hopefully these two stages will make it uh, one way or another. Now that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always like to see a behind uh, the scene look at the making of my favorite games, and I'm very happy with these Art of Samurai Showdown art book ads. It actually did a lot of that. Uh, now again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe guys if you have not done so. Your subscription really helps me out. So please do subscribe. Uh, tick that little bell right there so that you are notified whenever a video from Neo Geo Now has been uploaded. Now, until next time, thank you guys for watching.